Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to us in Equestriate War, in which we are playing as a Grand Principality of Lake City. So, uh, I read through a couple of the comments from yesterday, and we've made a little bit of a change, to be honest with you. This is not where we left off yesterday, because, well, we kind of restarted the campaign, because it was recommended that I actually go ahead and just grab Grand Prince Heavenly Snow, and I did the one focus with Long Live the Prince. If you want to read about the focus, go right ahead. I, we already got through the daily political power gain Malice, or the debuff, as well as the cost, as well as stability and research speed, and right now we are ready to do our next focus. Obviously in the last video, we went with the Wild Trees Regency, but through on my Discord server, on the comments, people were messaging me, telling me, telling me that, you know what, J just go with lo Long Live the Prince, because if you choose him, you can go down a river empire as well as a pony on the Griffonian griffin throne i believe as well so you can get both which sounds a little more interesting than anything else so it was recommended highly 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 recommended to go down this path so that's why i made the change uh let's see we did this yesterday uh we have a lot of comms to go to so uh let's see but ooh, i want to do princely charity i want to do this one i'm going to demand deploying loyalty like we did yesterday just because the longer we wait, the stronger that they could become and t tell us no. So, if you want to, re want to read the focus again, because I'm not going to read it right now since we read it yesterday, go right ahead. And here we go. So, it's still October 17th. This is pretty much the exact same date where we left off yesterday. Pretty close. So, uh, we still haven't done Grand Land to the Guilds because when I tried, or when I did do Long of the Prince, I did not get enough political power to do anything else. So, it was literally just me waiting here to get, of course, uh, Water Dudes for more political power game. But, there, I couldn't do anything else, so. A little bit of a, I wouldn't say misstep, but a different pathway, we'll say. Let's get this one, more planes, cool. So, I was recommended, some of the comments, actually, some of the comments include, uh, Go with the Prince so that we're able to proclaim the River Empire and get a war goal on an entire River Federation. Ooh, there goes those people last time. In the last video, the River Republic was killing itself, but they're okay for now. They're okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Virgilia has been, has capitulated. Let's see, there's support, of course, for me to go down the focus tree for the R Dreams of Federation, which I still did, as, as you can see. There's support to do this, but support against it. If we go the path of what we're intended to go now, to form the Holy Pony Empire, not the Holy Roman Empire, but the Holy Pony Empire, we basically, we should really go down Cult of the Prince, as well as Blessed Swords Legacy. Now, this was important, because... To get this one, you have to do Cold of the Prince. So to do this one, you have to get... And we leave the River Union when we do that. We have to do Cold of the Prince. So we can't do Prince of the People. Or reaffirm the Treaty. But that's okay, because you still get to do Royal Guard. You still get to do Anti-Griffin Propaganda. And you still get to do Found the East Griffonia Sphere. So we actually get more options by going down with the Prince right now. Which is really cool. Pegacles passes away. Well, the Nimbusians do know that they're leader. Cool. And it was also invest... And also it was recommended, if I can stop speaking of my own words, I'm sorry... Uh, that before we leave the Federation, though, let us invest in Deponia once they become our puppet as much as possible. So we'll invest in Deponia, we'll build roads there, and get some grants. So this way, our puppet will be as strong as possible before uh, things go badly. You know, before you know we pull out, and it'll still be our puppet, which would be great. Oh, okay. Invest in Ponia hidden. Ponia hidden. That's by best one must have done that. Cool. And, of course, we get more daily political power, so building more support, and they fold. Uh, if you want to read about this, okay, we read about this yesterday, so excellent. They become our subject, just as we wanted to, and which, I'm, I'm just going to leave this for someone else to do. That'd be good, because then we'll pull, the, pull out, you know, uh, the Federation soon enough. But let's go ahead and do Princely Charity for now. Uh, we can make great strides in bridging the gap between our regime and common citizen, with the sacrifice of a small portion of the Prince's personal wealth towards charity projects. Who knows? These might even help alleviate the crushing poverty of Lake City, which will just help us, which we did yesterday, but like I said earlier, we didn't have the ability, to, or I wanted to go down with the, the Prince, just get the Prince on the throne as fast as possible, Heavenly Sword, so. And like we did yesterday, we're going to go and grab Grant Lands to the Guild, get more factories, because we got zero going right now, which is not good. Woo! Not good at all, but that's okay. Hopefully this path will help us do okay. And they're still having a civil war down here, which is fine with me. I really don't care about them. Cool. And, oh, hold on. Oh, you're fighting somebody. Oh. Those guys killing each other. Cold dude, do you have anything for us? Not really. The second Achillean revolution. Cool. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, let's see, other 
other uh, comments. I mean, that, those were most of the comments, just saying, go down with Long Live the Prince, uh, and then get Cult of the Prince. But we need Prince of Charity, Subjugate the Guilds, as well as increase military budget, which actually I might rush right now, just because 5% more political power isn't much. But to get all three of these, I do want to do Citizen's Youth, sacrificing for a better future, so that we can get at least one more research slot and we get more research speed by removing our national spirit, negligible illiteracy. So that'd be good, just because we'll save probably this one for last, Blessed Swords Legacy, to get as many bonuses as we possibly can towards Deponia and ourselves, of course. Oh, and they keep killing each other. What, what What is wrong with them? I have no idea. They, they seem like a very troubled nation, to say the least. Uh, next research. Oh, we got hundreds of days left. Oh my goodness. Prince of Charity would be good. Uh, someone recommended also in the yesterday's comments, don't forget you have an additional tech tree, but the River Society of Science. River Republic has proposed a student exchange program along with a permanent knowledge sharing initiative. This River Society of Science will help to improve learning throughout the Riverlands. Although the plan would benefit our country, some nationals are concerned about sharing our technology with foreigners, even if they are our friends. Um... I'll be honest, I'm not sure how much we could, we could benefit from this. I would say a brilliant idea for now. It's probably not good. I don't want to share knowledge with anyone, really. But for now, I think as long as we can get a boost to our own research, that's all I really care about. If, you know, everyone else gets a little boost, so be it. It's not so much that you can research things ahead sometimes. It's about how you use them. And the AI can be kind of stupid, so. Uh, I do want to get down here. Ooh, daily supremacy gain. Requires one of the following. Mm, that's okay. Military budget, subjugate the guilds. This is better to do because we get two more civilian factories. We get better political power, less consumer goods, stability. This is better to do. Subjugate the guilds. N752. The guilds were the chief benefactor of the revolution, which ended the first Lake City Kingdom. Since then, they've profited generously from the instability of the Republican era. It's about time that we break the power of the guilds and ensure their loyalty for decades to come. Absolutely. The guilds have too much power. And we love supremacy. Grand Prince Heavenly Snow. <sighs> what a Grand Prince. And they signed another peace treaty. Go figure. Are we out of guns? Yes, we are. Too bad this is not like Old World Blues, where you can just buy guns from the black market. It's unfortunate. Good, good, good. Always have a thing of water nearby, just in case you get thirsty. Bucks. Bucks, bucks, bucks. Actually, train. go ahead and train. We're losing some uh, guns every day anyways. It's fine. We're still making almost 10 a day, which is really nice. That's what we got about. 54 days left, and we still got plenty of time. Plenty, 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 plenty of time. Oh boy. I'd love to go to war, but we gotta wait first. Uh, 100 command power. Tito Titovich is looking pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, that was. I kind of already addressed everything earlier, but there was another comment saying that just leave the Federation, but invest in Deponia with the Federation focuses before you leave, so, so that we can make Deponia as powerful as possible. Sinister Setoff, elected General Secretary. Interesting Setoff. You guys are still killing each other over there, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. We have 100 political power. Griffinian. Griffin. Griffian host was annexed. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh. Um, just suffering from exercises. That's fine. Once we get another 100 political power, I. Ooh, the river and. The River Coal and Steel Community. The River Republic has proposed a plan they call the River Coal and Steel Community. With it, we'll share the base raw materials between our coalition members more fairly and with less competition. An additional idea is to prevent war between members of the coalition by putting control over the resources required for warfare in the hands of a supranational committee. This committee would be chaired by independent experts. Although these plans could improve our economy and many of our citizens sympathize with the idea of stopping warfare between the members of the coalition, giving up control of our resources to some outside experts is an unprecedented step. Ooh. You get more resources? Mm, I'm gonna say no. We like the last one. This one, we not feeling it right now. Please tell me someone else is doing Invested Deponia. That'd be so good. They're avoiding it. Are you kidding me? Really? We did that one. They did that one. Please don't avoid Deponia. Please don't. Subjugate the guilds. I love it. I love it. Subjugate them. And we'll do Deponia before we do stuff. Because I still want to get. I still want to get another research slot. Because that'd be really good. And we definitely will do this one, which will be looks so good. So, increase the military budget. If it wasn't for the military, our princely restoration would have never seen the light of day. Now we must call upon the military once more. To defend our fragile monarchy against our foes, both foreign and domestic, to accomplish this feat, we must raise defense spending to never-before-seen levels. Great. Captain of Industry would be great to do. Uh, Tinker Talk. Okay. Prince of Terror. Small grin. Not a big grin, but small grin. 
Sweetie Spring. Oh, okay. Political power. Yeah. Comet. Yeah, he's okay. Let's see. It's 1,008. So that means more industry. So... Oh, let's get some output. Because we still want to make more guns. That is not looking great. Anything else? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Buy weapons from guilds? Oh, that looks even better. Well, that's nice. Farmer modernization. Ooh. More construction speed. I like that. Add infrastructure. That could... Oh, God. Mm, I want to do so much. Ah, the Lake Festival. Uh, I think we already read this yesterday. In the last 50 years, the festival has been in steady decline. Okay. Because it costs too much. It would greatly increase the morale of our nation if we were to provide this event with proper funding. Financing a week of festivities, which could rival those of Blessed Swords Reign. Yes. Yes, we'll do that again. Cool. I'm really tempted to just go straight to partial mobilization. Because that will help us get... That actually will give us... Mm, plus 40%. Military construction speed and plus 30% civilian construction speed. Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, I, I think I have to do that. I want to do this stuff, but I think going straight to partial mobilization would actually probably be okay with us. Yeah. Because as much as I want I want to help out our industrial sector, I want to help out our small science base, but I think we have to do this. Because we just want to build right now. We got one more, but this will just help build things a little bit faster. I mean, we're going to do it anyways eventually, so... Mechanical computing. Uh, no. Ah, radio. Good. And I know we've got plenty of technologies. That's why I'm trying to race for another research slot as fast as possible. We've got a successful revolution. Uh, actually, let's go back over here. What else is over here for the pony technologies? Oh, we have grandeur. Uh, actually, I think we read this one last year. As Sunday rolled around, the train station roads and waters leading out of Jezergrad were clogged with ponies attempting to exit the city. The festival had been a success, greatly contributing to national morale and the perception of a re republic to outside nations. How will they ever top this? They won't. Oh, goodness. Specialized training? Magical infantry sounds very expensive, to be honest with you. Entrenchment speed is okay. All frontline battalions get more... Ooh. Ooh, you know what? I really don't know Equestria War that well. It seems like, no matter what we do, the dispersed training benefits everyone, while magical infantry only just helps... I mean, the specialized training only helps magical infantry. That being said, what are your thoughts? For this campaign, do you think I will be strong enough to actually use magical infantry? Because even if we don't use them now, eventually we can if we get strong enough. Should I use magical infantry? I will leave that up to you, my friends. Because odds are, you know Equestria War maybe slightly better than I do. And I do want to get Earth Pony Agriculture because more population is pretty good, especially if you get it earlier on. It's only 50% more, but 15% is still pretty nice. Could be better, could be worse. Uh, let's see, we still got so many days waiting for that. Increase military budget. And then I'm going to go call to the prince to get more political power, more war support, more daily supremacy gain. And then we'll go over there. Because this is the last one we're going to do. We've got really got to wait on that one, so. Uh, call to the prince. Because uh, as much as I love getting more war support and stability and attack and defense on core territory, but in olden times, the grand prince stood at the center of Lake City's affairs. He was a monarch who ruled absolutely, with his decisions being beyond the realm of criticism. Few would dare oppose him, and many gave their complete admiration and devotion. While our modern monarchy is a long way from these ideals, we can begin to rebuild this cult of personality. Ooh, look at factories. Yes, please. Oh, we're out of steel. God dang it. We can only get how much political power? We get 1.28. Not bad. Damn the Griff King. Ooh, I get a civilian factory, minus 3% consumer goods factories, plus 10% resource gain. Ooh, very nice. Road network, I want to do all these. So, I need more political power. <laughs> I need more, my friends, I need more. The Grand Galloping Gala. Yes, yes, that sounds very nice. It's August 1008. We're doing okay, having a good time. Training. Training would be nice. And we're only out 1,300 guns. Hmm. Hey, artillery is looking actually really, really good too. So that's not bad. Point zero one one. Military training. Yet yeah, getting more daily army speed gain though. Ah, God, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Every other one will select a minister and or a benefit to our economy or industry really. One thousand eight. Uh, you know what? Let's just get better guns right now. We don't want to make outdated stuff. So we get the Pulska M6. So the next thing we're gonna do for with political power is probably. Ooh, we could damn the area. That's not bad. I don't need... Oh, we could use more military factories, but... Mm, max factories in a state can wait. Infrastructure is super nice. Infrastructure versus national road network. Koltsovo. Where is Koltsovo? Oh, it's over here. That actually wouldn't be bad to build, because that's only level 1. We were building up in Jezergrad, as well as Svet Azemja. I can't... I don't know that. I'll probably go with this one. Just get a slightly more resource efficiency gain. Less consumer goods factories. We get a civilian factory. 
Oh, wait, that's 200. Oh, god dang, that's a lot. That's a lot of political power. That uses five civilian factories. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? We could wait. The construction of a hydroelectric dam upon the Griff King is no easy feat. However, if we were to successfully be successful in constructing this project, we'd greatly increase the quality of life within our nation as electricity is produced. Irrigation becomes more manageable, and previously untapped resources become available. Yeah, I, I gotta go with it that way. So we can do this, but we ain't gonna do that yet. Citizens Youth, for more daily supremacy port, land doctrine research speed, air doctrine research speed, cap and growth is not bad. Let's get this one first though. The Citizens Youths are an organization open to all foals within Lake City. They are an extracurricular group which organizes field trips and supports or sports leagues for young foals. When the foals grow up, the Citizens Youth will be able to teach discipline, preparing our younger generation for a future of military service and loyalty to the state. Ah, all for the state, my friends, all for the state. Press censorship, not bad idea. Oh, economy. Yeah, because nothing else here is really super great. I mean, backroom backstab or 5% more. It'd be one thing it was 10%, but 5%, that ain't cutting it for me. 1.46 a day is okay. It's definitely okay. When can we get more research done, please? Please? Please and thank you. Hey, 2 army XP, not bad. Aquilian Republic looking not great. Equestria. Jackie Clan is looking looking okay. Oh, buy weapons. Hmm. Buying weapons is always fun. As long as they're legal, right? As long as they're legal. Lost on the lake, the Nayan Maru is one of the hundred fishing vessels which prowl the fresh waters off Jezergrad in order to find walleye, salmon, and pike for the city's denizens. The ship left port about a week ago, and was supposed to return yesterday morning burdened with fish. However, that wasn't the case. Instead, the vessel has been reported missing with the last known transmission happening three days ago on the southernmost edge of the lake. While it's not uncommon for vessels to go missing, the Nayan Maru was carrying renowned Lake City biologist case study. Already, the press within Jezergrad has picked up the story and has begun to publish it, creating a public outcry to find the ship and its crew. Captain Greenpeace of the Lake City Coast Guard has asked for our permission to use the organization's fleet to begin prowling the waters in an effort to find the ship. This endeavor would be extremely costly, but to do otherwise would likely sentence these fishing ponies to their doom. Funeral. Uh, I, I don't mind this. Find case study in the Nayan Maru. Yeah, go and find him. You know what? We don't leave anyone behind. Usually. Unless we assassinate them. But anyways, damn it, damn it. Five, that's, oh my gosh. That's over a year long? That Falkorian military government sounds really awesome. Holy, whoa. And also, as we, as I didn't show you, like, me replaying this, this is still on a historical, so. Gabriel de Artele, Artiglio. Um, I do, we have like an Italian civil war here. Faith, what the heck is this? Falkusha Metalagerum? Are you, this is not Italian? Metal Regerum is definitely not, that's definitely German. Falkor above all of the Phil Philosophical Committee. Today marks the first meeting of the United Rippelands Philosophical Committee. The new gathering is being attended by representatives from all members of the Ripper Coalition with the stated goal of ad advancing pan riverlandic thought. It has already begun or brought together thinkers from across a broad political spectrum, providing them with the opportunity to discuss ideas about the future development of the Riverlands. The summit is a result of Bakara's insistence. It seems a Bakara has become highly committed to the project of greater integration within the coalition, although the long-term effects of the summit are yet to be seen. In the short term, it has caused many of our people to take a liking to the Bakarans, as they seem generally interested in hearing ideas. More harmony, political power, you know what? As, at least we got more political power, that's good. Wow. Equestria War is, is unique. I definitely would say that, but man, like a lot of the mods, but really, Equestria War. There's so many different paths you can take with so many different nations. It's not completely done yet, but that's okay. The mod will never be done, hopefully. Well, hopefully it'll be done someday. But that's gonna be a long, 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 long time. Hopefully. Because the devs love the mod a lot. And it shows. It definitely shows. It's just a great thing. Reign of Terror? Oh. Oh no, we lose political power 1.12. Oh, traditionals maintain control on Nimbusia. Okay. Another division, please. Yes, thank you, thank you. We're out of manpower now. Pony power, pony power. Alright, we'll do that then. Actually, how long does these take? 185. So we basically have triple that number. Yeah, triple. Yeah, it's definitely triple. Ah, search continues. Oh no. Please tell me we can find them eventually, though. Alright, so we did that. And then we're going to go. Oh, for the prince. Less organization, more recovery rate, stability. War support, attack, and division defense, and AI modifier focus focus on offense. AI modifier focus on offense. Hit heavenly presence. His heavenly presence. Oh, that's, that's, that's not bad. Divine sacrifice. Oh. Eh, we can kind of wait. Let's go with sacrificing for a better future. 
It is a duty of every pony to contribute their all towards the health and well-being of Lake City. In the short term, this may result in longer workdays and heavier workloads, but in the short term, Lake City will flourish as a result of his sacrifice, the main or the search for the Nihin Maru. And the famed biologist Case Study continues as vessels of the Lake City Coast Guard prowl at Lake's waters. An effort had been made to search begin the search at the site of the last known transmission, and then move outwards in larger and larger circles. So far, the search has failed to find any trace of the ship, and the morale for this mission is steadily diminished. The only good news is that while there is no sign of the ship, there is also no sign of wreckage or debris, which hopefully means the ship remains in one piece. The mission is also running into troubles in terms of funding, as this constant running, maintenance, and crewing of Coast Guard vessels has become a costly endeavor. Hopefully, the search ends soon, for better or for worse. We've got to find the search. It's only five political power, that's fine with me. That's totally fine. This is why I grabbed water, dude, because plus 15%... Fifth, plus 15% is pretty... Kind of important. Kind of important. Very good. We could do that. That's 25 political power, but we don't have extra political power to spare. So we did damn the Griff King, which is going to take full Alba. Next up, I'm just going to grab uh, Military Theater's Fire Flash. That would be good to do, because we need to do more daily army of speaking. That's probably the one thing that we need right now. Mist Flower... Haster Razor. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, we found it. At dawn, a patrol craft at the, of the Lake City Coast Guard stumbled upon a small beach atoll, or atoll, located 14 kilometers northeast of the site of the Nayan Maru's last transmission. Upon circling to the northern shore of the land, or the island, the craft discovered the beach remains of the Nayan Maru left in impeccable condition. Several minutes later, a flare was launched from the atoll, and the patrol craft landed. The crew of the Nayan Maru, including famed biologist Kesari, were all accounted for upon this, upon this island in good health. That is good. Apparently, the Nai and Maru had hit a gathering of rocks while returning to port, which punctured the ship's hull and allowed water into the electrical systems. In an effort to save his crew, the captain headed for the nearest landmass and beached his ship. Since then, the crew had been surviving upon the local vegetation of the island, lake water, and the hopeful and hold full of salted pike. It is expected that the Nai and Maru's crew will be returned to Jezergrab in the coming hours. Some desperately needed good news. Political power and stability. You know what? I'm glad we waited. I knew we could find him. Even though I'm pretty sure there might be a chance that they all die, but I hope hopefully that doesn't happen. Alright, I've waited long enough. Let's at least acknowledge that there is an additional tech tree that we need to get to. Earth Pony Agriculture. Minus 7%, that's actually pretty darn good. Holy cow. So we're positive on this. Go ahead and make everything better there. Uh, and over here, ooh, Fighter 1s, just please. Probably not going to use transport planes, just saying. As cool as they are. Yeah, hmm. Changing Queendom to clear one of the deer. Oh. Good luck. Uh, Queen Chrysalis. I still need to play as her. Oh. Color of Sorola. Interesting, interesting. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. They're still fighting down there. Wow. They're taking forever down there to kill each other. Alright, let's go ahead and grab some construction speed. Construction 2. I prefer that over the cap for now. That's just taking forever, I know. But happy 1009, my friends. It's a new year. Maybe new us. Hopefully we're going to have a good time regardless. Are you actually still training? Yeah, they actually are still are, which is good. Alright, let's go ahead and grab you. I almost never choose the air or naval theorists because military, the army military stuff is so important for the army. They're all part of the military, but the navy is not super something that we need right now since uh, we don't have ocean access. It is what it is. Sacrificing for a better future and the military science committee. The underdeveloped nature of both Lake City, the Lake City science base, and the economy has lifted or limited the amount of resources we can contribute towards research. The creation of a dedicated committee on military science would properly manage these resources and make sure none are wasted on frivolous things such as the wonder weapons. Cool. And that one is super, super important to do just because, like, you never know. Like, if you need an extra research slot, which you always need more research slots. But that will give us plus how much percent? Uh, plus 15. Okay, that was, that's... Negligible illiteracy is, hurts us more than I thought. We'll get 5% more construction speed and 15% more research speed, which would be very nice. And an extra research slot, so that's really good. Military and power still kind of sucks, but it's okay. We'll probably still have that for a while. Mild poverty is looking better than it did yesterday. Gold subjugated, which looks like the Japanese symbol from base game Hoi 4. Cult of the Prince looks like another symbol from base game Japan. Uh, Cult of the Prince is really nice, though. Let's see, Citizen's Youth is great. Actually, we get more Land Doctrine Research Speed. Nice. And Air Doctrine Research Speed. The fall of Valfront. Valfront. And the Workers Movement. Hey, they finally did something. Uh, let me see. Com ah, Starry Night, the Smoker. Uh, smoking isn't good for you, but you know what? You keep doing it. You keep doing it. Just, just keep smoking. <laughs> just keep smoking, because that's good for your health. Yes, that's good for your health. Totally good for your health. 
Stalingrad and Our Town. Fine, fine, fine. Our country. I thought it meant our country became a subject. Like, no, we're all the way on this continent. What are you talking about? We've been invited to the River Games of the premier athletics event of the Riverlands held every four years. This year's games are to be held in the River Republic, traditionally. Most nations of the Treaty of Coldstream have attended, and there will be a strong popular interest in the core events of sprint, sailing, jumping, javelin throwing, and fencing. Sounds like a waste of time. Of course we're going to attend. It gives me political power. Why not? We can show how good or how great we are. You know, that'd be great. Show the world how great Jezegrad and the rest of the Grand Principality of Lake City are. 21 factories. Not bad. A hey, 6 army XP. Not great. We get from army exercises 0 .004 a day. That is not much. <laughs> the results are in. The River Games deliver with hoof biting finishes, dramatic upsets, and inspirational accomplishments in every, nearly every field. The various sprints and marathons were consistently dominated by River Republic. A usual favorite for ocean nations. The sailing events were carried by Bakaran Republic. Long jump, popular despite its simplicity, was run by the Kingdom of Vintland. The javelin category, harking back to ancient military traditions, was sold by Diamond Mountain. Finally, the prize for the notable art, noble art of fencing went to Ki Kingdom of Vintland. A splendid display. We didn't win anything. What? What? Not even. Uh, we don't have sailing. I guess we have a lake, but. Uh. So, like I said, we got the army leader last time, or theorist. So we should do one of these next. Regardless, military factories, max factories, I'm gonna go with infrastructure maybe. Because that gives us another area to build up when we're done building up these areas, so. It really doesn't matter. More military factories would have been okay, but we don't really have the resources to support that since we don't have any more aluminum, steel, or rubber. So, we could have made stuff, but it actually might have hurt our ability to make stuff. Cool, we got that done. Great. Alright, where the prints would be nice. We will we'll, we will leave eventually. And. No one is investing in Deponia. What the heck is wrong with these people? If they're not going to invest, I will. Let's give them some steel and civilian factories. So, our neighbor to the north suffers from a severely stunted economy with a vast majority of their population toiling away in the fields just for mere sustenance. Sustenance. We must come to our vassals' aid, offering them loans, technical expertise, and guidance to kickstart their industrial revolution. Very cool. A fourth research slot. Oh, that makes me feel, feel so good. Computing machine. Oh, that hurts. That's so long to do. Oh, why? Why must you hurt me? Why? Alright, so we got... We did the stuff for the decisions last. I doubt we can go with War Economy. We are still... This, that's good. We're still in the River Coalition. We are supremacists. Ah, we might want to go limit exports. It hurts our construction, but we do get more resources. Even though, yeah, let's not do that since all we have is steel, so... Mm. That's okay. Expand the university. Ooh. Substantial science base. We get less political power, but better research speed. Oh, oh! Because right now we get point two, we get lowered by point one. Lake Festival. This happens every year, so earmark some fundings. That'd be good. That'd be very good for us. That actually might be worth getting a better science base. Captain of Industry is really good to do. War industrialist, backroom backstabber. I kind of want to do that, but even then, our industry isn't that great. We only have three factories. Yeah, we're using eight right now, which isn't ideal. You know what? I might just do a second one then. I might just expand the university, just because we need better research times, because right now it's not looking good at all. Even with four research slots, it's not looking great. Actually, mm, oh, stability. You know what? I'm going to grab stability right now. That's probably not, maybe not a great idea, but we got to do it. Oh, week of grandeur, two million, million ponies. The same thing happens every time, I think. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much. This race includes 30 ships. This year's registration had to be set to 300. Of course, it's the exact same thing. How will they ever top this? Oh, they, they might find a way. You never know. 1.15. Still not great, but that's not bad. Any more research? At least we've got four slots. And after this, we are going to go ahead and continue doing Deponian Railways. There are rumored to be vast quantities of crystals within the depths of the Igesic Forest. However, access to this remote region is pitiful, with only a few dirt roads penetrating deep into the perilous forest. It's imperative that we develop a rail line to the service these lands in order to properly exploit the crystals for our own benefits. Because cool, we're going to really invest in them now. We'll do this as soon as we get all the things done for Deponium. And, ooh, a long day in wet Vetter. Send our condolences. Ooh. Secure Deponia. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll do both of these. And then we'll do Blackened Heart of the Igesic Forest? Igesic. Maybe it's Igesic Forest. That would be good to do. Construction 2. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some improved machine tools. That's usually pretty good to do as well. Farm modernization. Nice. 
get more stability that's always good it helps you up with political power gain consumer goods factories output from dockyards and factories even though we have no dockyards and lowers resistance to our getting occupied territory so that's good if we have to go to war soon earth pony agriculture nice engineer entrenchment Ooh, construction speed plus five Ooh, five percent and 10 percent more output that's not bad Pegasite divisions, we could focus on resource efficiency gain. Let's grab some better bombers first, because we've been ignoring these guys, because even though we don't really have the capabilities of making them now, when we do have the ability to do so, we don't want to be caught behind the times. Yeah, I think I want to do this next. Farm modernization is nice, but max factories in a, max factories in a state can kind of wait. Yeah, I get more construction speed, but research speed is still pretty imp darn important, too. 1.16. Oh yeah, so they're there they are a subjugated vassal. That is nice. That is nice. We got a nice amount of stability. Fifty-one days just for god dang radar detection. Oh my goodness, the Jackie Oh. Jackie Clan. Go bye bye. Came of Yaki Yaki stand. On Hooves Division. Well oh we got oh, how much support going do we have? Ooh, do we have enough to do this? No. No. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw in artillery here then. As much as I love recon, getting two, th two battalions of artillery will definitely make it a little better. There you go. Now we're really out of manpower. And artillery as well. Woo! But I'm going to throw even another battalion of infantry once we get there too. So, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Ban traditionalism. We could do that. We could do this too, but I don't want to waste political power like I said earlier. It's not worth it. The fall of Yorthland? Casa Free State declared one Osterland. Um, Griffiths Southern Continent Comp Company. Governor Executive. Felchen Griffiths Sud Continent Gesellschaft. Cool. Deponian Railways. Let's go with this one. So the Griff King River makes up the border between Lake City and Deponia. It's well known that along this river there are massive quantities of aluminum. While our own domestic service reserves are currently inaccessible due to the river's flow, the Deponians are far luckier, having an easy to exploit supply just begging to be developed. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, strawberry duchy. Mm, kinda want some strawberries now. 72%. Nice. 1.17. Slowly going up for a political power game, but not by that much, you know. Bl blessed God. Ah, it's so blessed. They're still fighting some war over here. God dang, son. Can I send volunteers? I actually could have sent volunteers, but we hate commies, right? Sorry, Knight. Not aligned. At this point, it's a little late for me. Maybe next. Uh, even then, we don't have no, we have no manpower. No pony power. I could raise up my conscription level, but... We have other things to pursue, like... Industry and research. So... It's gonna do this one. It's gonna hurt us a little bit, a little bit but that's okay with me. Better artillery... Oh my gosh. We don't even have toy artillery, we have pre-industrial. Oh my goodness. Oh! If I learn anything from TNO, the New Order, Last Days of Europe, artillery. Improving artillery and infantry equipment can be very, very beneficial, especially when your enemies might not be that capable of waging a war like you can. So, there goes the Dear Republic. The fall of service. I was going to say cervix, but mm, let's not go there. Rosewood Order. Oh! Things are becoming very violent in the world. We must prepare ourselves. We do have 15 divisions, so that's pretty good. Not gonna lie. And after this, we shall do to secure Deponia. We could do this. Yeah, I mean, retention, cap. Is, I love the cap. Cap is always great. Uh, growth is okay. Production efficiency base is not bad, but... this organization? People, they really don't want to invest in Deponia. What is wrong with them? We could do this as well. But like I said yesterday, this is just mostly just... Bonuses, blueprints, which is okay. Not really necessary for us. Uh, this would be okay to do, but uh, I kind of do fuel storage for now. We'll need it eventually, probably. Extraction. What would we extract? Ten percent of sixteen. That's like one point six. Usually one point six. So you get my. You might get one more steel, which has its benefits, but their turn rate on spending that maybe not is might not is might not might not be so great. I can't speak right now. Did you leave the faction? Bunch of commies. They did. Who are you, Clifford the Red? I, I, as soon as I said Clifford, I thought Clifford the big red dog, but that's just me. Oh god, this world's turning very commie. And the smoker to our west as well? Hmm. Secure Deponia, though. While the transition of power was smooth between our two regimes, the local populace of Deponia has shown some resistance to our leadership. In order to further secure our influence over the population, we must construct fortified strong points throughout the land in order to leave a permanent reminder of our governance over them. Yes, you shall be... You shall have no... Autonomy. Oh, look at that. River Republic is really pushing for it. 
grand principles you have Lake City? We have none. Actually, yeah, and then Vinland and then the Republic. Yeah, we don't care. Please, someone help out Deponia. Oh, join the... Oh, we could join that. Oh, yeah, that's true. We could join that. Uh, no. Sorry. As much as I want... We could do that, but... Mm, eh. Someone's going to say yes, you should join it. Other people are going to say no. I'm going to say no for now, just because I don't think it's in our best interest to trade away our resources for nothing. That's not cool. Next up... Actually, how are we building? So, oh, we actually have six. We only... That's nice. We're still damning the Griff King. Uh, farm modernization. Max factories... Oh, oh, we don't get those extra benefits now. We could get military factories. Which, actually, probably that would be pretty good to do right now, since we can't go to war economy. We have to be at war for that. It's okay. Uh, military high command, army maneuver. Uh, you know what? Before we get too far, I will be right back. Alright, my apologies about that, but I had to use the restroom really quickly. So, regardless... We have the River War Games. The River Republic invited us to participate in a series of war games to improve military readiness and cooperation between members of the River Coalition. The exercises were conducted without incident and have already highlighted several potential areas for improvement in our military. Good. That's actually really good for us. We could actually use more army XP and even some air XP and some more political power, of course, as well. Tactical bomb and ground support. Plus 15%. That ain't bad. Infantry, though. This Willow Moss is... We got a grabber. Or him. Willow. Is Willow a dude or not? Hmm. Iron Water, River Sword. Oh, AI po AI modifier. Focus on offense. Okay, more speed. That's cool. Secure Deponia. And then we should blackened heart of the Aixic Forest. Wayward Breeze was known in history as a scholar prince, devoting much of his reign towards the further th furthering the education of his subjects. To honor his memory, the army has constructed Fort Breeze, a military research complex located in the heart of Deponia's Aixic Forest. This installation will do whatever it takes to better our understanding of the world, no matter how much damage is done to the landscape. We get a research slot, and if we have five research slots, we don't get any more, but that's okay. We only have four. Actually, is there another way for us? Is there another focus in which we could get another research slot? There might be. I kind of doubt it. Um, no, ooh, look at that. Wow, that looks painful. We get a lot of cores, though. Uh, nope, that looks like we don't. It's cool. Artillery. Uh, let's see. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Oh, goodness. Grand battle plan. Mass assault. Superior firepower. Well, I'm probably going to go with superior firepower because it's tried and true. And we can't really afford tanks, so I think that'll be okay. Bolt action rifles. Make sure we get the best stuff. It actually gives us more steel by doing that. Nice. That's not bad, actually. Oh, there we go. And farm modernization. More military factories. At this point, I guess we could do that one. And do farm modernization. We need... A dam's been built across the river. Griff King. Nice. That's actually really good. We need to do that one, too. I'm glad we did the, da the damming earlier so we can get it done as fast as possible. Fuel storage. Awesome. Let's go and grab some synthetic oil experiments because I will be building up quite a few of those later on. Let's grab some... Cryptology level plus two. Ooh, nice. Let's see, anything else? We got plenty of guns, plenty of artillery, plenty of support equipment for now. Over here, we're going to need some recon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Make our guys as strong as possible. We're going to just make them 40 combo with light divisions, though. Pegasi divisions. <clears throat> oh, building roads. Stop. Why you? Why, why, why you do that one? Do the other one. You're doing the wrong one. <laughs> Who cares about Pony Aid? Everyone cares. Why don't you love the Ponya? Why not? Literally, it's either... They give it no love. Literally no love. Evil people. Evil, evil, evil groups. Evil groups all over the place. Uh, let's see. Tanks. We're, I'm not even focusing on tanks at all right now. I think it's a motorized. That would be actually very, very important to get. Farm modernization would be great to do is next. Cool. And let's see. The Fall of Griffenheim. Oh. The Empire's finally coming to its end. Wow, this looks really bad. Can I get a war with anyone here? Actually, I don't trust these commies. You know what? Screw the people to their south. Actually, I don't trust anyone of these people here. Can I? I can't manage to go to war. Democracies cannot justify wars against countries that have not generated world tension. Oh, we're still a democracy. Led by flawless justice. Oh, your harmony. What happened to my, uh... Smoker mommy? No, not smoker mommy. But s smoker pony. Yeah. I'm getting weird, man. I'm getting real weird. Oh, the commies down here. Griffonian People's Republic or Front. Front. Cool. Nice. An extra research slot. Awesome. As you can tell, I'm trying to do everything down here before we move on with Blessed Swords Legacy. We can do this whenever we want. I'm gonna go ahead and 
I want to get the bonus to superior firepower. So let's begin to modernize Lake City's army. Our armed forces currently lag behind in terms of military innovations. Our rifles are severely outdated, our doctrine is severely decades of obsolete, and our knowledge on armored warfare is a little bit less, a little more than haphazard theory building. We must begin a crash course program to modernize our armed forces in an effort to better protect Lake City. Uh, let's see, anything else? Eh, just grab some artillery upgrades for now. Cool. Alright. Let's see. I'm thinking here. If we leave the Fall of Vetter again... Okay, well, whatever. Uh, we got... The next focus we should probably honestly really do is just get as many benefits as we can for Deponia. I'm waiting for other people to do it. But I, we need to leave. We really need to leave and do anti-Griffin propaganda. We do get to Royal Guard, which is nice. Reorganized military would be very nice. More daily political power gain, too. Uh, let's see. The free communities of Longsword. The Bukrovic incident. Revenge, which we cannot do yet. The Empire's resurgent. Or another nation's united headline. But then we have to do that. And then found the East Griffonia Sphere. And then Princely Command. Down with the Coalition. War goals against everyone else. Oh, that seems pretty goddarn difficult, but we'll see what we can do. You know, we're not perfect, but we're still out of manpower. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, we'll do this one, definitely. Definitely do that one. Oh, get some aluminum. That would be kind of nice, too. Because army XP is not the problem. It's just manpower now. I might just raise my pony power up. If we get enough political power, of course. Which we currently get 1.07 a day. Ooh. Military is still in power, unfortunately, but whatever. Oof. Lake City Festival, earmark some funds for this year's festivities. We do it every year. At this point, it's just a tradition. Like, you don't even have to have to ask. You don't have to ask me. Just just do it. Just do it. Let's see. Anything else here? Oh, in a few days, within a week, we'll have that. And within 12 days, we'll have that. So, it's after the superior firepower, we will definitely choose the delay doctrine. 400 days. Good lord. This is why we got five research slots right now. Let's go and get t plus 10 more organization for our ponies. That would be great. Actually, with Deponia under us, and boosting them up as much as possible, we do have a good chance of maybe holding out, as long as we take their divisions. And with the Diamond Mountain leaving, that's kind of good for us. Let's go ahead and invest in them, actually, before we do that. Invest in Deponia. Is anyone else doing that? Anyone else? Workshop of the East. A question exchange. It doesn't look like it. I know, focus. So, it looks like it's really up to us. So... Uh, Deponia is one of the less developed members of the treaty. To strengthen our relations with them and to make our ally able to contribute more to the alliance, we can invest in Deponia. Purchasing a significant patch of forest for in industrial development will surely help our friends along. They get a civilian workshop or factory, and okay, that sounds pretty good. A week of grandeur if you would like to read this. It happens every game as well, so. Every game, every year, so. How will they ever top this? Just say we'll top it next year. Aluminum plant, just go and grab that. Another civilian factory, yes, please. Nine out of fifteen, not great, but not bad. Really not bad. Hey, that looks, that looks better already. Then again, well, we're not even doing that too good. Tactical bombers are good. Let's go down to three and go to one. Good, start getting some fighters. That'd be nice. Maybe some tack bombers as well. Arcturian leader declared war on the Dread League. The Dark Crusade. Oh, the changing and questioning border on the Arcturian order. How entertaining, but is none of our concern. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, we can invest in our scientists. Develop science base. Oh, we have a substantial science base. If we go up here, we get plus 30% more. Oh, the Republic of Nova Grafonia. Oh, 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 they actually did it. Right? Did they? I don't know. That's not bad. I want a better science base so we can research things more, more quickly. More decryption power. Cool. Very cool. Here we go. 150 political power, though. That's a lot. But that's not bad. Invest in our scientists is probably a pretty good thing to invest in right now, anyways. Uh, we don't have a lot of divisions. I could make them 40 combat width, which would give us an advantage over pretty much anyone else immediately. We do have 14 divisions, so... And if they, I think if they're 40 combat width, technically they take less damage than instead if they were 20 or 10 combat width, which isn't bad. Do I have the resources to make them 40 combat width? Not artillery-wise, probably. Equestria, a solar civil war. Oh my goodness, Crystal Empire broke free. Oh, there. Oh wow. Oh wow. Twilight Sparkle captured. I wonder what will happen with her. I did not realize that. Oh, Daybreaker. Kind of hot. Um, that Equestria would be relegated to this little position. Princess Luna. Kind of cool. She's kind of hot. Daybreaker. Is that a girl? Uh, oh. 
she sh could have destroyed Luna instead. Okay, it's a girl. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, let's see. Build roads in Deponia? Why not? Deponia shares a border with Griffin territory, but their borderlands lack proper infrastructure. And the coalition is to properly defend themselves against any sudden threats. Our forces should be able to move quickly towards the border. Deponia lacks sufficient industrial capa capacity to do or to do undertake a large public works effort in the area. So it is up to us to prepare the borderlands for military maneuvers. Beautiful. And after this, we'll probably leave the River Federation. Bye bye. <laughs> Steel's looking good. I will actually invest a little bit more into this for now. Go down to two because we don't have enough factories and tungsten. Um, yeah. Go and do that as well. Fighter ones. Do that. We'll need less. Artillery upgrades are nice. Happy 1010, my friends. New year, new was. Get some better artillery. Might as well. Hey, we actually, we're done. <gasps> we have 15. Ooh. Good. Oh, nice. 70. Nice. Actually, infrastructure wise, we probably want to build these two areas up first. That'll be great for resources as well. Uh. They've done that. Yeah, you know what? You got that factory done. You do this one and this one at the same time. Mm, six, seven. Yeah, you might as well keep it there for now. That's fine. That'll be okay with me. Farming modernization. Expand the aluminum plant. Ooh, ten more aluminum. That could be very beneficial, but we already have five, so we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and ruin our civilian factories by getting investing in our scientists. Beautiful. And we shall end this episode with one more focus. Once, of course, it's done. Officer Lant. Ooh, yes. Trucks. Motorized. Good. Make sure we get some improved infantry equipment. One, that'll be nice for more soft attack. Yes, please. All right, at this point, let's ruin our manpower even more. And say we want 40 combat with divisions. Do we have enough artillery for this? No, we don't. But that's okay. That just gives us something to work on. Okay, 36 combat with divisions. Not ideal. But whatever. Less guns, more artillery. Go down to two. I don't want to lower it. I don't want anything less than two for now. Tactical bombers do that. Good. Uh, make one for now. That'd be fine. You know what? Do that then. There you go. House of Irie declared war. All we're missing right now is tungsten, which is not bad. Oh, boy. The Great War. Ooh. I'd, I would be really sad or really troubled or dis disappointed if I was the Solar Empire right now. This is a great time for the changelings to attack. Especially since we're trying to kill a quest at war. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hydro oh, we got the damn, we damn the Griff King. Awesome. The fall of Van Hoover. Awesome. Decryption, frequency analysis. Uh, we could do that, but we're going to wait for this one. It's almost 10 11. Let's 10 10. Let's get some more dispersed industry since we have our research benefits for now until we actually leave the Federation. It is what it is. We need to do what we need to do. Deployment grants for Deponia. More must be done to lift the city of Deponia up to the level of the rest of the coalition. We will make development grants available to the government. The Deponians might be a little clingy towards their traditions, but with enough compensation, they might even see value and progress, which is great. But, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of our episode, my friends. We've got 32 factories in total. We've begun working on our army a little bit, and we've done as much as we can over here. But in the next episode, we will leave the River Union. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving maybe a like. Maybe two if you can. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will leave the faction with our puppet. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.